And we're back with five-time Emmy-winning actor and producer Neil Patrick Harris. We just love to hate him as the villain of as Count Olaf in the Netflix uh, series, A Series of Unfortunate Events. It's based on the beloved children's novels, and lucky for fans, it's about to return for season two. Take a look. Uh, Oh, bless you. Thank you, pretty lady. Yes, I must be allergic to something in this room that is not large handkerchief for you two adult people. The orphans, perhaps. <gasps> They're orphans? Que pasa? Yes, I'm allergic to orphans. Is it their dust? Yes, yes, or their ashes. It's, it's, it's clogs up my whole, um, what is the word for it? Glands. Life. Okay, this has got to be a dream job. You get to dress up, you get to do accents. This has got to be like your perfect role. It's been a super exciting journey for sure. Yeah. I mean, Barry Sonnenfeld created this world and he has such a wonderful vision and Netflix gave us a nice budget to do it. We're, we're being as faithful to Daniel Handler's novels as we can and so it's this unbelievable sandbox. In every book, I get to don don a ridiculous disguise. Come on. That's Gunther. Gunther. A now, Lagerfeldian you, are you Gunther. Ad are you ad-libbing in there somewhere? It feels like um, so... Not often. We'll do... But every now and then? I don't like to veer too far from what the writers who okay. have been hired to do have written, but we'll try some alternate takes if we need to. Do you to. ever test drive the accents or anything on your twins, on your seven-year-olds, just to see <laughs> if, it, if it gets them? Uh, they like... They. Uh, I see them a lot because we film on the West Coast in Vancouver, and we live here in New York. Yeah. So uh, we're mostly uh, FaceTiming during the days. Yeah. So they see me in uh, Olaf Costume. random disguises all the time. They don't like when I talk in the voices. <laughs> they th freak them out. Talk like a normal person. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> it's nice to see you. And they say, No, They're no, like, never do that no. again. <laughs> What's up, kiddies? <laughs> it's me. They say, No, not ever that again. <laughs> that is. Do your kids? This is kind of a little dark <clears throat> for yeah. the seven-year-olds. Is it? Too, is it too much for them, do you think, to watch? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. I think that kids seem to gravitate, at least ours do, but I think yeah. most do, gravitate towards darker material. I think uh -huh. kids like scary stories, and they like right. ghost stories, and they mm -hmm. want to know that there's something potentially bad that could happen, yeah. even though it doesn't really happen. Unfortunately, with Series of Unfortunate Events, it's bad after bad, bad after, after bad. Bad after bad. Yeah. So when you go home at night, you put the key in the door and your kids are there. Yeah. To describe what that seems like when you when you step in your house at home at night. Uh, I just, I, I am incredibly grateful and lucky right now. The kids are seven years old, they're in the first grade. They're both uh, healthy and happy. My husband's a spectacular man, actor, chef person, yeah. partner, and so it's a good time. Seven's great. I regret being far away from them, right, because yeah. I, I miss the daily, yeah. so I'm excited. We're finishing season three of the show, and then I'm doing the uh, Genius Junior game show at the same time, but when I get to come home and hang out with them, they make me laugh. Their, their laughs are infectious. Let's talk Genius Junior for a second, yeah, because this, I've seen these promos, and these are, these kids, I don't know where they've come from, but they are Brilliant. Give us the concept of this show. We found uh, uh, unbelievably uh, intelligent kids from around America. We went on a big uh, casting search, and, and it's two teams of three that compete against each other to become the Genius Junior Champions. Uh -huh. And uh, not only did we find a wide array of kids who are incredibly smart yeah. and gifted, but they're also real kids and really interesting people. And what I think is nice about this is it's, it's a legitimate celebration of education, yeah. and we're in a news cycle of on the constant where sure. it's what bad thing is happening, what bad thing has been said. And right now, especially right, given the march that just happened, yeah. I think this new generation deserves to be respected mm. for what they do well. Right. And this show is all about oh. uh, their brains and, and what they can do well, which are achievable goals. These, right? these kids are so much smarter than us. Hey, will you guys come over one second? We're going to play one <laughs> round of this uh -oh. game. Okay, so one of the round, one of the things is a spelling challenge than okay. uh, yes. on the show, and uh -huh. All right. I ask people to spell words, but I'm going to ask you to spell them backwards, oh, right? Okay. So you'll have backwards. 60 seconds. So I get the first one, and when, then when I'm, I'm going to ask you all of them. If you okay. don't like pass. them, you can I'm pass. I'm going to pass to somebody, oh. so you know oh. that's what's happening. We're supposed happening. to spell it backwards. Don't backwards, backwards. Okay. only backwards. Okay. Wait, you're going to, okay. I'm going to yeah. give you the okay. word. Just start with cat. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock. Oh, my gosh. Go. You have 60 seconds, and your time starts. Now, how to spell radar backwards? Craig! R A D A R. Correct. Yeah. How okay, go. go. How to spell burrito backwards? Oh, that's a hard one. Oh, Dylan! <laughs> Me? You have to do one. I'm helping! Spell burrito backwards. R R I T 
O-T-U-B? Incorrect. Oh. Savannah! Uh, okay, wait. See, they get some new ones. That's a horrible thing. It's like, now you're speaking my language. It's spelled karaoke. Oh, jeez. Savannah, Savannah. Oh, zero on it. Karaoke. E-K-O-A. Now I'm just... Say it. Really? What I forgot what I said. Oh, uh, I don't know. What else? R-A-K. Very close. I was close. I All right. Got... All right. Al, spell microscope. <laughs> you got it. Uh, you can do that. E-P-O-C. -E oh. oh. And it's in. Yes. And it's very oh. small. C-I-M. Oh. 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 Karaoke was harder. Is this is that it? By the way, that's it. Time's oh, up. Time's up. Oh, way, we're the, idiots. You, the kids are brilliant. They do it like yeah. this. If you watch Junior Junior, these kids will say those. I'll say spell omnidirectional backwards. And just oh, I can spell Doug backwards. Doug, let's hear it. D U D. Oh God. Yeah. Another Paladin. We love you. The new season of a series of unfortunate events that hits Netflix this Friday. And Genius Junior returns on Sunday, April 8th at 9, 8 Central on NBC. Up next, it pays to be blue health benefits of blueberries, but first, this is today on NBC. Go. Thimble. Backwards. Go. E L M I R B M I H T. Very close. Quarterback. Backwards. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.